The following moles question is about moles and yield of reaction. The question reads that ethyl ethanoate can be obtained if from ethanoic acid and ethanol by the following reaction. So the reaction equation is given and what's given is that 30 grams of ethanol and uh, 30 grams of ethanoic acid are heated under reflux together and 22 grams of ethyl ethanoate are obtained and you are asked to find the yield of the ester that is formed. So the first thing is I'm going to copy this equation. So let's uh, copy and paste this equation over here. Uh, so you're given 30 grams of both reactants. So the, so the first information that's given is that you're given 30 grams of ethanol and you're given 30 grams of ethanoic acid. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the moles of uh, 30 grams of ethanol and 30 grams of ethanoic acid. And moles is mass divided by the molar mass. So for ethanol, it's uh, two carbon, so that's 12 multiplied by two. Uh, there are uh, there's one oxygen, so that's 16. Plus you have uh, three plus two plus one six hydrogen, so that's six. So that's the molar mass of uh, uh, that's the molar mass of ethanol. And we're going to use uh, our calculators to solve this. So it's going to be 30 divided by 46. So that's 30 divided by 46, and that's equal to 0 0.652 moles, uh, rounded to three significant figures. So that's 0 0.652 moles of ethanol. Similarly, we, we're going to find the mo moles of ethanoic acid. So that's 30 divided by the two carbon. So that's 12 into 2, which is 24 plus uh, the two oxygens, so that's 32, plus there are four hydrogens, so that's four. So it's 24 plus four plus 32, that's 60. So it's 30 divided by 60, so this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 moles. Now, the first part of the question is related to limiting in excess. Now, according to the equation, if you look at the equation carefully, one mole of ethanol reacts with one mole of ethanoic acid. So the ratio is one ratio one. So that means one reacts with one. If you have 100 moles of ethanoic acid, they would need 100 moles of ethanol. So the ratio is one ratio one. So if you have 0 0.5 moles of ethanoic acid, so then they're going to react with exactly 0 0.5 moles of ethanol, which means that the value that you calculated is in excess, but you, you've added too much ethanol. 0 0.652 moles of ethanol are not needed. You only need 0 0.5 moles because the ratio is one ratio one. So 0 0.5 moles, are going to react with exactly 0 0.5 moles. So that's the amount of moles that are actually reacting. 0 0.652 is in excess. And according to the ratios, one mole of ethanol reacts with one mole of ethanoic acid produces one mole of this ester given over here. So if you have 0 0.5 moles of ethanol, they're going to react with 0 0.5 moles of ethanoic acid and they're going to produce exactly 0 0.5 moles of this ester. So we found out the moles of the ester, theoretical moles of the ester that would be formed in theory. So the next step we are now going to do is we, we, we have found out the theoretical moles of this ester which is 3.5 moles and we are going to find the mass. Now the mass of this ester would be the moles of the ester which is 0 0.5 multiplied by the molar mass which is going to be it's going to be uh, the four carbons, so that's four into 12, which is 48, plus there are two oxygen, so that's 32, plus you have a total of, if you count the number of hydrogens, uh, if you count the total number of hydrogens, that's a total of eight hydrogens, so that's plus eight. So this thing would be 88, 88 into 0.5 would give me 44 grams. So this is the theoretical value uh, that is obtained for the, for the ester. Uh, theoretical means, the value that we calculated using uh, using a calculator, using simple moles calculation. So theoretically, you're going to get 44 grams. But if you read the question, the amount of ester that is being produced is 22 grams. So this is the actual amount of the ester that is produced, the experimental value. So the next part is we can now calculate the yield of this reaction. And remember the formula of yield is it's actual over theoretical, the actual mass obtained is 22. Theoretically, we figured out that it should be 44 into 100, and that would be equal to, if you use your calculator, that would be equal to 50%. So the yield of the reaction is 50% because in theory, 
you were getting 44 grams, but in reality, you're getting 22 grams. So the yield is exactly 50%. So option C is the correct answer.